welcome to Dowie Dowie Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the episode of Raw for the 12th of January. Got it right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we had to go over that before we started. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's not for today, it was the 15th. It's not. It's the 14th. Yeah. But whatever. I was about to say now. it's the 12th, but yeah. that would be wrong. Anyway, uh, we started off Raw with John Cena having a bit of a chat with everyone. And he wanted to get a tag trending on Twitter, which was... Uh, Authority sucks. Yeah. I don't think I saw it. No. I don't think I saw it. Did anyone else see it? If you have, yeah, let us know because I don't think I did. And I was on Twitter around about the time Raw was out, so yeah, I was asleep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was up. I don't know why I can't remember. I was, I was watching Coach Trip. Oh, fair enough. Love Coach Trip. Um, he was just talking <laughs> about um, Eric Rowan, Ryback, and Dolph being fired. Bye bye. I can't remember what I was last week. It feels like ages ago. Yeah, I feel like everyone's been complaining about it for like a month. I know, right? Yeah. And um, the authority come out, as they do, and they're talking about that same old thing about them firing. We're here. Yeah, we're here. They go. Blah, blah, and blah. We're going to put you in a match, do you want to see now? Lumberjack match! So, um, basically, John Cena and Seth were in a lumberjack match. I mean, we've seen John versus Seth so many times. I was like, oh. We got quite excited because, like, oh yeah, finally, lumberjack match. Like, even if it is John and uh, Seth. Seth. Like, ten people were there on the outside. Yeah, there, like, I swear there's usually more. Yeah, there was it, gaps and everything. Like, Big Show was taken up one side. <laughs> it was just Big Show. Like, they, I'm sure they usually it's That's true, they've got no roster left. They have got no mm. roster there. You need a few more. I mean, they, only, they did only put heels out there, like out as lumberjacks, but yeah. it looked ridiculous. It looked bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there was a stipulation to the match. So if John Cena won, um, Dolph, Eric and Ryback were back yeah. into the business. But if Seth won, that wasn't the case. Did John Cena even have a, have a bad thing that was going to happen to him? He didn't, did he? No. It's a Vincent man. is in charge. And he loves John Cena. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then after, well, we went straight to Lumberjack match, actually, after that talking segment. We summed it up very quickly. That talking segment went on for about ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was not longer. It was, the uh, boring. Yeah. But my problem with the Lumberjack match, though, was that all the, lum- I haven't seen that many Lumberjack matches. I've seen a few. And I remember them being a lot more fast paced. Mm. Like, I remember people getting chucked out and everyone goes to them just so quick. And there was only one point when everyone went for John. That was at the end, weren't it? Yeah. And that's when Cesaro picked him up, which he was too close to the barrier to actually get a momentum. But, but like, I don't remember as many people interfering in actually in the match as a lumberjack yeah. as this one. There was like five yeah. interferences. It's like, well, that's not the point of being a lumberjack. Yeah, no. Um, so I wasn't really that interested in the match. Luckily, it yeah. wasn't that long. It was about five minutes. Yeah, the thing is, with the authority, nothing's fair anymore, so all the matches are interfered, and it's getting boring. Yeah, like, no. It's like, I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> um, so Seth actually won, because Big Show did a knockout punch on the outside of the ring. He then chucked <laughs> John Cena... <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't yeah. you? Yeah. He, he then chucked John Cena back to the ring. But John started rolling into the centre of the ring, and it's like... He knocked out. Yeah, if you're not attacked, you're not going to be able to roll yourself <laughs> over, okay? So it's just like, face palm, <laughs> you're stupid. Um... Seth then did his um, curve stomp. Yeah. That felt like a curve stomp. <laughs> curve stomp. Um, and he won, which was... Mm, we uh, thought they might be bringing him back straight away. Yeah. Which I... I mean, it's kind of nice enough, but I'm kind of disappointed that they yeah. have There's nothing else. That, what else is there for them, everyone nothing. else to do? There's it's nothing. Poor. There's nothing, especially for a three-hour show. Good luck. I think it's when they're going to come back. When they come back, it's just going to be constant, more constant bullshit. Yeah, yeah. always. We're over half hour in already, and we've had one match a load of speaking segments. Yeah. So it's because they've got no people to wrestle. <laughs> yeah, no. It's ridiculous. Um. So then after that match, uh, and uh, the authority minus Stephanie and Triple H celebrated in the ring as they do. Um. We went backstage to a curtain, as we like the curtain. We like the curtain. And um, it was Stephanie with the use and Dean, although Dean kept walking out of the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't forget Dean's even there. Um, and Stephanie goes, oh, you know what happened on SmackDown because the Usos did something. Did something. They, talked about, they talked smack about the authority, didn't they? Don't Do you remember? remember? There was a talking segment with Brian, the grey suit guy. Ah! Yeah, and they basically yeah. stand the forest crap, basically. And so, 
they're like, oh, you just have to like, so how are you going to punish us? So she's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to punish you. But can you tell Naomi she's in a match with one arm tied behind the back? <gasps> OMG! I'm in shock. This is, this is disastrous. This is, OMG! This is the worst thing that could have possibly happened to my night. Why couldn't we have, like, a Divas ladder match or something? <laughs> I know, right? This is what it's turned into. Like, <laughs> no. I was like, what did she expect? I'm like, oh! <gasps> Have we ever had a Divas ambulance match? I know, like, like, come on. Do that. They could easily put it off. At least your Fox and Naomi could easily yeah, do something like that. Yeah, easily. Um, and then Dean obviously come back. You just walked off. They didn't really seem that bothered, to be fair. No, they're like, okay, we'll okay. go tell her. They're yeah. probably going to win. Yeah. I don't know. We'll and then um, Dean comes back in and he's, she's like, you checked yourself out of the hospital when you went in there last week. You've got psychiatric problems. I've got a doctor because you're a danger to everyone else. <laughs> and so Dean's now having psychiatric treatment <laughs> at on Raw. Not that you'd have that in your company. You wouldn't sit in a room and have that. No. In your company. You'd go to a doctor's place. They'd send you. <laughs> they'd send you home and tell you to go to a doctor's place. But then again, this is WWE. It is corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> and, but at the same time, I'm quite liking these random segments. Yeah. But don't do enough of them anymore. Yeah. So it's good. But I would like it if they left the curtain. Yes, leave the curtain. Like we went back the other day. Like you've got that uh, clip that's going around at the moment. I actually remember this. Stone Cold and is it Booker T in the supermarket? In the supermarket, yeah. That's good. And then the clip I watched the other day, Miss Dow with the briefcase and Cody Rhodes chucking it in the river. Miss Dow going in to get it, going, I can't swim. Yeah, that's I can't swim. It's comedy gold. Like, it's stupid, we don't have but it anymore. it's great. And I saw a clip as well. Uh, Randy Orton and Bad News Barrett in a lift fighting. Oh, oh yeah, that was pretty cool as well. I was like, what happened in this past year? Yeah, to go this shit. I don't yeah. get it, but I... whatever. Um, then we went to an, another curtain somewhere else. It's another curtain. <laughs> and it was the Miz and Mizdale talking about the Golden Globes. I don't know why this was relevant. They didn't Golden say Golden Globes happened the other day. Yeah, but why is it relevant to? that episode of Raw they didn't like say oh this is why we're gonna beat you because we're oh yeah, like, yeah it was just like oh I'm friends with George Clooney we're amazing <laughs> and it's like no you're not <laughs> you of, wish that was the end of that it was like oh maybe you could win a slammy one but day. it was like okay they haven't had their slammies for about three weeks and all of a sudden they're back yeah <laughs> so it, it was like it was like crap we need five minutes to fill up yeah quick get this out, out. <laughs> <laughs> we said that exactly the same I know. time so I'm on it but the thing is, they wear sunglasses, you can see the screen, the, the prompt that they're reading on the... On but the, even the there, Miss Dale can't read on it, he's still going... Yeah, but he's trying to see what Miz is doing at the corner of his yeah. eye. They need to get a mirror, and then a prompt, Yeah, so he can do both. <laughs> there you go, tip for you. Done. Um, so we went to... See, too many backstage segments oh, now, God, though. No, we no, then no. went to another area of backstage. There, there was nothing in between these, these moments. Like... No. And we got an advert. No, yeah, yeah. There was Dean sitting with a psychiatrist, and so he's like, "Okay, just relax, <laughs> talk about your problems." And Dean it starts ticking the clock, and Dean's just kind of sitting there. He gets quite close to him though. It's like, "I want to talk to you." <laughs> I was searching Bray Wyatt to come out. What are you doing, with my Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dean. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna happen, is it? What are they gonna do with all that? I don't know. The romance and romance is over. I know. <laughs> You got a new bromance. I know. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. <laughs> so we then had a match. It was Tyson Kidd and Cesaro versus Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Big E was on the outside and so was Adam Rose and Natalia. Lots and the Rosebuds. <laughs> it was basically a lumberjack match. Yeah. <laughs> why couldn't they use the Rosebuds as the lumberjack? I know. There's, there was more outside <laughs> on that match than there was for the lumberjack match. Okay. Yeah. It, stupid. Absolutely. You know you have an issue with the Rosebuds out on being roster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's, good, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> um, Natalia didn't, didn't really see. Like, you saw her. Yeah, you saw her once. She kind of went at the end of Rose. That yeah, was it. That was it. <laughs> Done. Um, the match itself was okay. I just don't like New Day. They're not very good. They're not, because every match they're in, I don't like. The fact that anyone they've been against, it's been awful. Yeah. Like, the Usos are awful against, so they've got it. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, easy, you so, I think so, Gold yeah. Dust and Stardust, it was awful. And Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, who are amazing, like, you got a few good moves out of them, but that was all you could get. Yeah, like, they did a, they did a couple of good moves and they were dominating, but apart from that, yeah. it was flat, and it was over quite quick. I can't believe that New Day won. I know, I was like, and the crowd weren't into it No, all. everyone, there's two kids of that guy. New Day! But apart that from it. that, it's 
No. I think everyone would have been much happier with a Titan Killer Cesaro win, yeah, to be honest. I would. They've got the... They, you can't hate them. They're no. just so happy. <laughs> they've got the oomph. But they, um, I'm, I'm happy because they do a lot of tag moves, which you don't see. Yeah. It's good. It's all good. But yeah, I, we were very angry that New Day won that one. Yeah, I can't believe it. No. No. Right. They'd better not be, like, a pre-show match at Royal Rumble. They're going to be, oh, aren't they? Yeah. I suppose they're technically on a pay-per-view. Yeah. Um, so then we had a big show talking segment, and... For fuck's sake. <laughs> that went on for about 20 minutes. Oh. Not being funny, but that was too long. Way too friggin' long. I left the room. I had to. Just me a drink, though. Look, I've got a drink. I oh, know, I'm so nice. I need my fluids. <laughs> Ew. Again. See if I'm still ill as well. Not as bad as you, though. I can't hear out this year. It's awful. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's a sinus infection. But yeah. Okay. I might go to the doctors actually. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll cut that out. Come on, cut it out. I'll really forget that. I'm going to leave it in. Should I just leave it in? Just leave it in. Oh, I see. Come on, leave it in. It. <laughs> Here's a gem for everyone. I'm actually going to leave it in there. I've got a Um. So, um, yeah, big show. <laughs> he talks a lot. <laughs> Basically, he was just like, um, got to like, have job security that's really squeaky i was holding a cup and it was just squeaking in my fingers anyway he was like you gotta have you gotta have job security like when the new guy comes into the work you're not like oh yeah you're the new guy new guy you're like, get rid you're of like, him. yeah get rid of him because he wants my job which is true yeah. everyone goes into a job wanting to go progress unless yeah. you've got no goals in life <laughs> that's why i leave them jobs any job i ain't got no progression i go i go back to, <laughs> i go back to my other job anyway <laughs> Because there's there is progression there. <laughs> Not gonna lie, there is. Okay. Anyway, anyway, yeah. So he he's, he's got a point, and then he was like, he's like, but Roman Reigns, he's not a threat to me. So he's like, the new guy is not a threat to me. Roman Reigns has been there for about three years. Yeah, so he? he's not like it, new guy. What? <laughs> Should be scared of Tyson Kidd. <laughs> yeah. Not that we're condoning a feud like that, please. No. Can we? Can we please? Can Big Show just like go away? Like Big Show. I feel so like sure. what can he do? What can he do? Can he not be like a cane where he wrestles now and again? But general manager, no, oh, could he talk too much? No, but I think if you've got any authority, I just had him as general manager. He could be all right. Like I wouldn't want it for more than like a year or so. But I think he could be all right. I'll send him to NXT. I just. Can we just, yeah, get, just let him go home to his family. He talks about him enough. Yeah, um, I'm sure he's set for life, so he'll be fine. Yeah. So then uh, after that, Roman Reigns actually appeared and uh, was just like... He, back to well, he was telling the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah. but with Big Show and him. And it's like, did you not hear everyone taking the piss out of his... What's it impression? Sucker and suck attack. Yeah, what is that from? Uh, it's uh, Looney Tunes. Yeah. The, like, you think from the Looney Tunes scenario they would have learnt, but no. <laughs> Never do, and it was just like, what? What am I watching? No, it wasn't even funny. Like I just no. like, like awkward. Like this is really awkward. Mm. Everyone keeps blowing Vince McMahon for that as well. It's like, pretty Roman Reigns' idea. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, all the creative writing team. It, like, I blame Vince McMahon for everything. Like mm. the WWE in general. <laughs> but Vince McMahon doesn't write the scripts. No, that's true. He doesn't. So he, he probably doesn't even see him. Half the time. He just kind of controls who's the stakeholders, yeah. like who he gets money from. So I'd blame the scriptwriter, so that not Vincent man. But he needs to learn to fire them <laughs> because they're crap. Yeah, um, he wouldn't because he thinks his his ideas are better for business. Yeah, his um, products are the best. Wrong. But no, we can wrong. do it better. Just saying, Dean Ambrose outsold John Cena in merch. Yes, exciting. I love that. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> You've decided <laughs> Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> so Joey Monopoly, right? On Black Friday, this like this was a statement that was released. Dean Ambrose's uh, hoodie, you know the his hoodie, um, that outside John Cena merch and WWE Monopoly, which I really want now. Yeah, I love awesome. Monopoly. Yeah, I want the WWE Monopoly. So how does that work? I reckon it's said about houses you buy wrestlers. Oh yeah. I need to look it up. I'll look it up in a yeah. minute. Yeah, but. Yeah, I want that. And then it was John Cena merch. So. Haha. <laughs> anyway, off point. Yeah, um, we then, uh, so, yeah, Roman Reigns, after, like, before that, I forgot that uh, Big Show had run out of the ring. 
And my mind is going to look half of us as big show. Oops. <laughs> you didn't need to tell everyone that, Coral. Sorry. <laughs> I knew what it meant. <laughs> look half of Think they used to have so many matches together. Yeah. I was just reminiscing. <laughs> um... Then it was Luke Harper versus Roman Reigns, despite what my paper says. <laughs> but when, it, when his music played for a second, I was like, Eric Rowan's back. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't sound the same. There isn't weird chimes. We both, we both just paused and went, hold on. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, he's not back. Yeah. No. Um, the match itself I wasn't into. No. Big Joe's on the outside and it completely ruined it for me. Yeah. He was sitting, he looked ten times bigger than that chair, though. Yeah. Uh, there was nothing to really highlight of that match, really. Luke Harper, no. Luke Harper dominated and then Roman Reigns won at the end. No, he didn't. Roman Reigns won. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Did he? Yeah. And then Big Show attacked him. <laughs> sure, Luke Harper won. Then. No, Roman Reigns won because his music was playing. I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it shows anyway. how much attention the match got us into it. Yeah. We were like, no. But Roman Reigns did win. I am trying to unblock my nose in between filming. So. Yeah, she's excused. Yeah. And uh, Big Show threw his chair. He threw it quite far though, and he did hit a stairs. Oh, he loves those stairs. He loves those stairs. Um, yeah, he attacked Roman Reigns, and that was the end of that. But I think I do think for Luke Harper. I mean, it was an awful match. But Luke Harper did have a few good moves in there. Yeah, although he, like he almost fell over when he kicked him in the, very amazing in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Which is quite interesting. Everyone keeps falling over today. I know. What is wrong with the wobbly, world? Wobbly, wobbly ring. Wobbly ring. Wobbly ring. It's made out of jelly. <gasps> jelly. And that was that. And then we had we went backstage again to Ms. and Ms. Dow. It turns out they're doing a gro- the glo- is it Globes. What is it? Golden Globes. The Golden Globes after party show. But they haven't announced <coughs> that. It's only because I saw the screen in the background that I know yeah. this is what it was. Otherwise I wouldn't have had a clue. Yeah. Um, but it's actually a curtain with a picture behind them. Yeah. So. And the prompt in your face were through sunglasses. Yeah. Um, so they were talking about another award. I won't pay attention to who, who uh, won the award, would you? It was, it was the film Boyhood, I think, which won the best film. I haven't heard of this film yet. I've heard of all the other ones that are nominated. I've heard of everything that's been nominated. I was quite surprised that Jane the Virgin, the actress for that, won. It's so a CW show. None of them shows ever get nominated, and she won Best Comedic, a- Comedic Actress. I actually watched the trailer. It looks alright. Anyway, don't deserve winning, but yeah. Anyway, uh, Miss Dell spoke. Yes. <laughs> so basically, but okay, my my mind's gone on overdrive. I got so excited about this. <laughs> um, basically, he's like Miss Dell movies, and he's like. Yes, Miss. Well, I've been filming you for six months, and uh, which is pretty much how long they've been missing Miss Dow. Yeah, I can't believe that's six months. That means we've been doing yeah. this for six months. I know. Happy half anniversary! <laughs> half anniversary. Oh my god, we have to do an anniversary show. Yeah, I've got a year. I was thinking about that. Okay. Party hats. Yeah, anyway, party hats. You get party hats for the streamers. <laughs> and food to go. <laughs> oh, have cake. Yes. Anyway, I was in the sugar-free the, cake. I was in the middle of my sentence, Carol. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. We could have fudge. Oh, I'll make fudge. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Um, back to the show. And, um, <coughs> yeah, Miss Dad's like, I've been filming you for six months, what you do in the shower, blah, blah. Miss, Miss Dad, Miss, like, what? <laughs> and Miss Dad's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then, that's it, right? It was really good. And if they had this feud, which I'm hoping they're gonna, I want that video to be shown. Yes. They so better go back to it. I'm hoping that's why they said it. To set something else up, but did you notice Miss Dale went back to his old character? Because before he used to be a dapper, the dapper, like smart yeah. man, and he kind of his accent slid back into it at the end of his sentences. Yeah, because he hasn't spoken for so long, I think he's probably like trying to figure out what yeah. he's actually meant to be doing. But I'm glad they went away from that. So, yeah, um, I, I really hope this feud starts to pick up soon, though. I, I reckon it's gonna kick off for a rumble. Yeah, I hope so. I do, and I want Miss Dale to be the, the man, I want him to be pushed. Yeah, I love I love Miz to be honest. I love Miz, but I think they could if Miz Dow's pushed, they're both gonna go up together. Yeah. If Miz is pushed, Miz Dow's not probably seen no. ever again probably. So can't be having that. And everyone likes Miz Dow now. I know. So he's got. Thing is though, he'd have to go back to Sandow, wouldn't he? Yeah. Still, it still work. Still sounds the same. We love Sandow. Yeah. Yeah. And. <laughs> I was watching an interview with Miz and he was saying how everyone wants him out of the WWE and I felt really sorry for him. Really? He was getting really emotional about oh, it. Oh, was this recent? It was... He had an Continental Championship. That must have been. 
He's going to get stole for money when he had it. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, he got quite emotional. He's like, oh, no matter what I do, uh, I can't please anyone. The thing is, though, I think he's treated a bit like punk gods, to be honest. Yeah. Like, but he was talking about fans. He wasn't talking about oh, yeah. well, I think so. But then you, he could have been, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Hidden messages Content. behind what yeah. he was saying. Something. So... But I love Miz. I love Miz. So like, how can you hate the Miz? Like, I know, he's so much fun. He's like, a good wrestler as well. Thinks, there's this whole pretense that his, because um, of his character, it's everyone thinks he's a reality well. star. Yeah. But he, that's not why he's there. He actually watched wrestling since he was a kid. Yeah. And he was like wrestling when he was like 12. So he's not like, because his gimmick's actually ruined everyone's fall of him. Yeah. He's actually trained like everyone else has from the beginning. Right yeah. from the beginning. So. That's the thing, like, because it was... The reality star thing he was came from. Yeah. That was for actual wrestlers, wasn't it? Well he did the real life. That weren't for wrestlers. Oh really? But still yeah, he was he that. was actually wrestling while he was doing that. Oh really? Yeah. It says it all in this interview I watched. Oh. Ah. I subscribed to the people. Oh. Ah. Is that, that what you did recently? The so. picture's grey. I don't know. Ah. But um yeah, it's interesting. <coughs> anyway, we're talking about Miz and Miz after Yeah. Um, and then it was Alicia Fox versus Naomi, and obviously Naomi had one arm tied behind her back. And, um, and the Usos weren't allowed out to the ring today. That was another thing they weren't allowed. Oh, the were. commentator said it. Oh, well, they've got to say it because yeah. I'm too excited, <laughs> clearly. Um, so, yeah, um, we cut to a backstage segment of them by the Usos by a curtain. And one of the Miz and Miz and Miz and He's got his championship around his neck. He's standing there watching it. It's like, like what? Like, like casual, just around a neck, watching TV, as you do. You do realise it's a belt, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a necklace. Okay? Uh, it really make me laugh. Make yeah. me chuckle. Um, so, obviously, Naomi had one arm tied behind her back or something else. And, um, considering it was actually a pretty good match. It was a good match. Brie Bella, that's how it's done. Yeah. So we had that match a little while ago. Yeah, after um, Grind Up Bella. Oh, my God. oh God. It was during Grind Up Bella, wasn't it? I thought it was just after. It was just after. I can't believe I forgot about that. That's <laughs> awful. Um, Grind Up Bella. But, um, I remember the time when I was in prom, she stole my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the one that does the impression. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, um, to be fair, I can't do any right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Take off the team. <laughs> uh, but... Good match. Had a decent time as well. I yeah. Mean, I would have been nice if it went off a bit longer, but it was fun. It was good. Well done. A lot of high kicks. Yeah, and considering, like, considering she had an arm tied behind her back, it yeah. was fucking good. Yeah. Give them a chair or a ladder to work with or a table. Yeah. Give them something. They could easily do stairs. Oh, I can't face the stairs. I'm sorry, Carl. I can't. <laughs> yeah, but did the demons ever even, like, slam into the stairs? Yeah, I think they have before. Like, Paige and me. Maybe it was Paige and I think it was Mike. Like, AJ. 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 Yeah. That's about it. But at least Fox won, which was obviously going to happen. Um, Didn't slow roll up, though. Yeah. I mean, Naomi had a bit of a wardrobe of issues. Yeah, wedgie in. Yeah, like her shorts had grown right up her arms. <laughs> she was kind of trying to get them out, but she yeah. couldn't. Yeah. Like, oh. But it was a good match. It weren't boring. It's probably one of the better Diva matches. It's probably better than a normal. We need Diva to match. push these guys because these are the guys that are credible. These are the ones that are good. Instead yeah. of getting Nikki and Brie. And they had a good, decent match time as well. Yeah, it's good. These divas need to be pushed, man. Yeah, push oh. them. Well. Okay, so then we had Dino and Rose with a psychiatrist. Again. <laughs> um, and he was being shown pictures of the authority, Roman Reigns, and um, I can't remember his fucking name. That guy. Oh, that guy. Watch over. That guy who goes, oh. You don't see him, Who's not? Watch over, is it? No, no. watch over. I can't remember his name. Something Duggan. Jim Duggan? Jim Duggan. Jim Duggan. Jim Duggan. Yeah, I don't know. Something Duggan. I'm not good to write old stuff. And, um, yeah, so he was like, called Stephanie at home, basically, and slagged off. Oh! And he called, he called Kane a toothpaste. Toothpaste. And I read in the comment that that means something, like something that happened ages ago, but I don't remember it. Yeah. It might have been when I dropped out, so. Can someone let, let us know what that, yeah. that means? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, fabulous. let us know. Um, <coughs> so that was quite inter- That was quite funny. Uh, we then went to uh, a speaking segment in the ring. <laughs> It was Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. And, uh, and the one behind the one who beat the one at 21 or one. I can do it. Proof in the pudding. Yeah, because I <laughs> fucked it up last time I did it. <laughs> that was so funny. We were like, wait, hang on. What? 
I am the one behind the one who beat the one behind 21 and one. Yeah, and did you really say, he's just saying his usual spiel about he's going to win his championship, he's yeah. this UFC champion, blah, 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 blah. And we were back at the scene of the crime for the 21 and one. So yeah, put the whole thing for the Undertaker off. <laughs> yeah, it's just the same old stuff every time, written in a different way. <coughs> but means the same thing. I love Paul Haver, but this is getting stupid. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. And Brock Lesnar just stands there looking up Yeah. Uh, that's what he gets paid to do. He gets paid to stand there. Right, he's only contracted for five showings. Four showings a year. Okay. So, today. <laughs> that's today. Today. Royal Rumble. WrestleMania. SummerSlam. And probably a pay- uh, Raw on the lead up to. We like champions. He did not have champions this year, did he? Yeah. I feel like he'll do one more appearance on a rule somewhere. Just to rival up something. Is it only five, really? That's what I've heard. I thought that was Sting. They've got the same contract, don't they? Oh, really? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Give him overtime. <laughs> yeah, overtime, please. <laughs> um, but it was quite short for Paul Heyman. Yeah. 